This is a really powerful tool for people without access to satellite images. The balloon mapped image is cheap, right? We're talking on the order of under $200. Uh, it's current and you own it. You can decide what you do with these images. So the methodology is pretty straightforward. We take pictures, we pick the good ones, and then we make a map. All you need is a balloon, a point and shoot camera. This is a thousand foot string. I get, we get pretty good images from the thousand foot string. I use balloons that are out of a material called chloroprene, and they last about eight or 10 flights. The applications could be for just about anything. The whole idea of spatial thinking is just any sort of technology that has to do with geography. Normally I just let it go, but it's so windy today, uh, I'm not sure where this is gonna go. So that's a thousand feet of string. It's gonna take some group effort to get this thing back here because it's under so much tension. So uh, I'm gonna go hand over hand when it's time to bring it down. So we're bringing the balloon down now and gonna check to make sure that we have some usable images. Uh, one of the really important parts of what we're doing today is that this shows the students that this is an accessible tool that uh, people without money can access as well. Uh, satellite imagery has traditionally been uh, accessible only to people with money and the tools that we're using today are, are very inexpensive in total, maybe $250. We're going to put all of the photographs on the computer and we are going to go through all of the probably thousands of photos that we have. I'm excited to see what it, what it looks like when it's done. These are really big images. They're, they're really high resolution. If you were making a map, you would want some overlap, but not complete overlap of the pictures. So you'd line up similar, similar uh, points. The website MapKnitter that we're using today is a free online web utility. It's not software, it's a, it's a website, it's cloud-based, and so you don't need to use any expensive software. This is what makes mapping, again, more accessible to more people. We certainly have a different perspective of the Earth, being able to see it from above. Uh, it's good for monitoring human interaction with the planet. It's important to be aware of your impact. I think a lot of people aren't aware of how their actions impact the Earth. As long as you're aware, you can have a pretty good idea of what you can do to minimize that impact or make it more positive.